When the temperatures get as high as they will this week, a lot of people come here to Lake Mead to try and beat the heat. I'm Jay Wan Jung and I found out it could actually be more dangerous in the water during the scorch. Edgar Myron and his family are enjoying a day at the lake. Yeah, we're just out here having fun. It's a summer tradition that can't be missed. It's like a, a little piece of water in a big desert, so you have to take advantage of that opportunity. It's something you must see when you come to Vegas. Millions visit Lake Mead each year, especially during the summer. It's the hottest time of the year, but it's also when we have the most people visiting. But Lake Mead Public Affairs Officer John Haynes says it can also be a dangerous time. Imagine if you've ever been in a mountain lake or something and you've jumped in the water and it's just taking your breath away. Not just outside, but in the water. Lake Mead's very deep and it, it can be very cold. The difference in the outside temperature of the water and the temperature of the lake could lead to what's called cold water shock. The National Weather Service says it can cause a loss of muscle control within 10 minutes and then hypothermia within 20 to 30 minutes. Could it lead to drowning or death? So we don't have any cases here at Lake Mead of where it has led to drowning or death that we're aware of, but it gets tough to tell. In 2023, there were six drowning deaths at Lake Mead. From 2014 to 2021, there were 47. We've taken all the precautions we could possibly take. Myron says safety is top of mind when he's at the lake, and he makes sure the little ones are buckled up in their life jackets. I have my life just on no matter what. And just like with drownings, park rangers say wearing a life jacket can dramatically improve the chances of survival from cold water shock. At Lake Mead, I'm Jay Wan Jung.